Hey guys, and welcome to the annoying, I mean, Mona Lisa vlogs. I'm going to be looking at a reading by Boyd and Ellison, and within this, certain scholars have looked at practices, implications, culture, and meaning behind the sites, as well as users' engagement with them. First of all, social networking. Should you use networking or network? Networking implies that you are connecting with people that you don't already have a connection with, but social network implies that you're just adding towards the connection of people that you already know, primarily communicating with the people who are already a part of your extended social network. I would add Da Vinci for sure. It's all about interpersonal communication and impression management, a view about how we connect with each other and how we do this through features of social networking sites. The world of SNSs are constantly changing and new features being added every month. So, as seen from 6degrees.com, we actually need people online for our public communication and impression management. If we have no one to actually express ourselves to, then this becomes redundant. If we were on Twitter with no followers, what's the point? We have a need to share, teenagers more so than others, so they're a primary market. They helped MySpace become what it was before Facebook, and the simplest thing was, they just brought their friends. Impression management is about public displays of communication, how we interact with others, but how do we do this? Sork suggests LunarStorm allowed users to have a rank on a status meter to show how they were interacting with others on the site and how authentic they were. This interconnects to impression management. If you look to good on friends to someone would add you, and your Facebook is constantly updating others on what you're liking, friending, as well as commenting on. Boyd examined fake profiles and dubbed them fakesters, and has argued that no profile could ever be truly real. We can see what we don't want others to see, and 46% of teenagers with an open profile on sites such as Facebook said yes to some form of false information on their site. So guys, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to like, favourite, and subscribe, as well as leave a comment. I want to hear what your thoughts are. All references will be in the doobly doo below. Why don't you share this on Facebook or Twitter? Let everyone know what your digital identity is. Bye!